This week, today's homeowner is on the road in Winthrop, Maine to help a young family tackle the scariest thing in their 100-year-old house, their utility bill. We've got tons of tips, large and small, to make a home more comfortable and efficient, so stick around. Now, in order to identify the problems on this house, we brought in an infrared specialist to do a little investigating. This is John Canamella. He uses infrared technology to well, basically perform an energy audit of the house. So, John, tell me how this works. Well, infrared is a certain wavelength, and the wavelength we're looking at is only the transfer of heat waves in infrared, which is part of a spectrum. The infrared uh, camera that you see here only sees heat or lack of it. In this case, we're looking at uh, a wall yeah. that has some insulation problems. So you tell me all the blue that I'm seeing. So the blue you're seeing right there is are, are um, closer to the outside temperature wow. because my R value in those areas are really low and there may be uh, a little or zero insulation in those zones and the issue that comes across is that well those are small areas but they add up. All right now let's let's panel here the window then because that's where we're really and now single pane glass so we're getting a lot of blue. Right. The, the, the glass itself is hard to get a real accurate read because of the nature of the material, but around the areas where the glass meets or the wood meets the glass, where the windows open and close, there's virtually no insulation value whatsoever. It's wow. off my scale. It's completely black. And that is um, w one of the reasons the older homes um, are, are energy hogs is because the windows lose lots of lots of energy all around the the, right. the edges. Well, from what I'm seeing, then we're we're on the right track to help solve this the problem at this this house. Okay, yeah, I, you you might say I'm playing with it, but really it's because I'm skeptical. Now that might be a bad thing, but seriously, when you're doing this type of work, you tend to ask yourself, does it really make a difference? Yeah. Now I know you guys, uh, you and the kids, were working on these outlet covers mm -hmm. and everything, and uh, you know a lot of people will ask me, does that really make a difference? Because it is a very simple thing, and you know you go around the outside of your house, it's bound to help some, but uh, is that showing the results? It does. Now, now actually, let me show you the before picture. Right here. Okay, so I see the flaring around. Right, it. all the blue. That's right. cold. Now let me take that off of that. And when you get it back on here, you can see it's, it's actually holding the heat in. How about that? Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is pretty cool. And what, about 25 cents a, a cover? The something least like that. expensive improvement we made, and what a difference. Yeah, that's great. Good idea. All right, now I'm actually going to go around the rest of the house and check that out. And actually, why don't you check out this week's Ask Danny? This week, we've shown you some energy efficiency improvements to Greg and Jennifer Quimby's home in Maine. Now, we have more energy-saving tips on our website at dannyleptford.com. Hey, thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week.